Hello, my name is Manon Isaac and I'm going to be presenting about my project called Robot. My SIP anime question is, what's an effective but fun way of introducing young students to robotics and computer science? I want to make some sort of educational robot that would spark interest in robotics and computer science in young children. It would teach young students about the basics of robotics using itself as an example. I want to do it because where I live in North Wales, digital illiteracy and a lack of interest in computer science in young people is quite a large issue. The robot itself would look humanoid, have a head, two arms and legs, it'd sit on your table and honestly the idea started off where I wanted to think of a robot that would tear open its chest to show you all how all its insides working and, and like I thought that'd be really cool. It's going to be educational but also fun. So the two artists that inspired me the most while coming up with this idea were Professor Greg Bailey and Ken Rinaldo. Professor Bailey is a professor of art at Connecticut College. He works with sculpting about the environment and more recently has been working on projects to reduce his carbon footprint. Ken Rinaldo is an artist situated in California who likes to develop hybrid ecologies between all living things and machines. He's even made a piece where fish drive robots, which is really cool. He's got this fish bowl with sensors attached to it to detect where the, where the fish moves and that dictates which way the robot platform it's situated on moves as well. So, Professor Bailey. I interviewed Professor Bailey because he has done work with physical sculptures and I would have to do similar work to build the robot. He has always made sculptures around the theme of environmentalism and the effects we have on the planet, but more recently he's realised that the sculptures he made themselves had a negative impact on the environment which defeats the original purpose of them. So instead he now makes sculptures for practical purposes with recycled materials to reduce his carbon footprint as much as possible, like his project about reusing an old sculpture of his to make a rain collecting unit. In addition to giving me general advice on my project and advice on sculpturing, he has also taught me how important it is to make my project environmentally friendly, which is something I hadn't even thought about at all. So after talking to him, I now plan on making the robot out of sustainable materials by recycling, reusing anything I can find. So here's a quote from the interview I did Professor Bailey. He says, If the child were to make the robot wave to them, mum, when they come through the door, then they have a much more invested quality with the education, and then they know they're making the servo motors move. And, like, this one sentence was my favourite out of the whole interview. Like, as soon as I heard it, I completely changed what my um, project was going to be. Originally, it was just going to be the robot would sit and talk um, to whoever was watching. It would, you know, do a whole rip up, open its chest and move its gears around. But it was just a performance. It would just show things. But when he said this, I realised, no, I can't just have it show things. That's boring. These are, these are kids. They've got short attention spans. I need some sort of interaction. The best way to get an interest in robotics isn't to watch robotics be explained to you, it's to get in there, get hands-on, and play with it yourself. You get interest in robots when you play with robots. After my interview with Professor Bailey, I looked online specifically looking for artists who had done work with robots that interact with the audience, since I decided that it needs to be an important part of my project. That's when I found out about Ken Rinaldo, and it immediately clicked with me that this is someone who I can learn from. He makes work to do with robots that quite often have a lot of audience interaction, which is exactly what I'm looking to do. One that caught my eye was his autotelematic spider bots, which was a colony of spider robots that ran around on this platform at random, looking for a charging station to charge their battery, or a human to make chirping sounds with, which get louder the more the human interacts with the robots, which is really cool. The most important thing about these robots that I want to incorporate into my project is that the spider robots had little behaviours that made them look alive rather than just walking around. They chirped, seeked out people, and moved their heads when looking around. Here's a quote from his video talking about the autotelematic spider bots. When referring to how did he come up with the idea, he asked the question, could you create a series of autonomous robots that would be able to act like ants? Obviously they ended up looking like spiders, but this was the original idea. And I just love his exploratory spirit and questioning what can and can't be done with robots. And I also want to ask a similar question. Can a robot alone be able to act as a teacher to educate and impassion people on robotics and computer science? I don't know. For now, I think I have a clear vision of what I want my SIP to be. It's going to be an educational tool that's going to foster an interest in robotics and computer science in young people, and the best way I can think of doing that is making a fun, interactive robot. But before then, the main thing I need to work on is my lack of experience making robots. I want to start developing my woodwork, metalwork, wiring and coding skills by using the classes and resources at Khan that are available to me. Thank you for listening.